Basically a tile render is you render just a region of your image. So you split your image into all these tiles. If you can send this to the farm, this is really beneficial as you can send like you can basically distribute your render between a bunch of machines. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that. The first option you have is append this USD ROP, um, USD render up, sorry, to your Karma render settings. So, you, you know, when you do a Karma, you get these two nodes. So in this ROP, you have this husk option and you have tiles. So you can click tile to render, pick your tile count. It will add a suffix to this path here so it would do dollar f4 and then add this suffix to that so it would be dollar f4 underscore tile and then this syntax just means the tile index padded by two so it would be like zero 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 one zero two zero three as you can see here in the index i've put this pdg attribute so that the, your first option would be to do range generate so you can generate uh, a value from zero you can see here to 15 so so one for every tile and then I'm appending a ROP fetch where I'm fetching this ROP and basically for each um, value of this tile index I'm creating here this will change right so work item number one is going to render tile 0, 1, 2 until 15 so I can get all my tiles. One thing I just do for safety when I do this is the output file I also append the tile index here so just making sure that when I create the USD that's going to be exp um, that's going to be rendered it's not going to be overridden. Uh, in my case here I've um, set my scheduler here to be single because I don't want to run 15 renders at the same time on my machine but uh, yeah, obviously this is more of a farm thing so this wouldn't be an issue but yeah the other way you can do it is cache the USD first so in this so here I'm using ROP fetch but I'm fetching this ROP which is a USD ROP and it's going to cache my scene to a USD then I'm still generating that tile index and then I'm using a USD render. The USD render, I'm just saying cache this upstream app file, which is gonna be the USDF cached here. In the husk options, I can specify extra arguments to do the tiling. So tile count um, specifies the, so the first four is the X count and the second four is the Y count. So I want uh, 16 tiles, four by four tile index is which tile to render so that's where we use our tile index attribute and then tile suffix is what do you want to append to your file name so technically the tile suffix could not be anything and you could add this that tile index to your file name and you can you could specify that using the um, the output flag this just does it for you it's pretty convenient and so then you run it through the USD render. The last example is um, doing the same here, then USD file create, I'm just, just to be safe, I'm creating this USD file attribute, which is gonna be my PDG input. So when I click here, I've got USD file. This is the file to render. And then in the generic generator, I'm just calling husk with the arguments. I just have husk my tile count, my tile index, my tile suffix, and then the USD file I want to render. So PA uh, USD file is the attribute I've created here in this attribute create. And then you should get something that looks like this, which is um, all your files, uh, all your tiles, sorry. So in, in sequence like this, obviously what you want is the full image and to get that uh, Houdini ships with a great utility called I tile stitch and the way to use it is either use it, use it uh, through the terminal or why not use tops again so I'm just getting my rendered files here so if I click here I can see that I've got this sheetable 
this tile dollar f2 so I'm just replacing the dollar f2 by the wildcard so I can get my 16 tiles I'm using wait for all to get just one work item out of all of them and then I'm applying unique values to this files um, attribute so I get one array of all my tiles however you can't feed an array to uh, our tile stitch so in a, within a python script I'm just getting that array and then creating an empty string and then appending to the empty string the that uh, string value so in this files array returns um, pdg files so you need to get the path to get the actual string and then I'm doing file string and then I'm just appending that string that I'm getting and now if I click here you can see that this two stitch attribute is just a very long string of all my files and now in the generate generator I'm using our tile stitch and then this is the name of my output stitch exr and then I'm specifying the long string which is all the tiled renders so once you when you run that and then you get this result which is all your images stitched together